I think it'd be best if Delta Team went over there to secure that room, uh, that room in case that's where the security equipment is being held. You should go to Alpha. Uh, you should go with Alpha Team in case they need uh, Say, uh, one more time. I'm sorry, it's just my mom won't stop talking about Bitcoin. Oh, she's got the bug, eh? It's literally the only thing she'll talk about, and she won't stop talking. Ain't she used to that by now? She won't leave me alone. And she gets upset if I don't text her back. Wish I could say this were uncommon, but it's not. It's just something about crypto. People finally understand it and they just go nuts for it. Something clicks. How do you get them to stop? Why are you asking him? They never really stop, but they do get better. She just needs to learn to channel her energy into something more productive, or at the very least, something less obnoxious. I don't know if I can last that long. I don't understand. Let me lay it out for you. If you're watching this, chances are you or someone you know is absolutely crazy about crypto. It seems to have this quality that makes people lose their inhibitions and feel the need to tell everyone they know all about it. And by all accounts, this is why people outside the crypto space tend to look at it like a Ponzi scheme at best or a cult at worst. But what is it about cryptocurrency that makes people so passionate? This odd niche genre of software that's only available to the technologically skilled and is currently used by just slightly more than nobody at all? Is the science behind it really that groundbreaking? Or is it just a horde of fools looking to profit from a volatile market? Either way, all the hype surely can't be a good thing. After all, reality rarely lives up to heightened expectations. Worst of all, the most passionate among us can often be insistent that others join our little club. Whether this is to avoid leaving anyone out or to inject the market with more capital is probably up to the character of the insistent person, but it's doubtless either way that to normal folks, it comes across poorly. Maybe this is because your average tech-savvy cryptocurrency enthusiast is lacking in social skills, or maybe it's because over-ambitious technological promises and scams are all too commonplace nowadays. I'm going to try to answer some of these questions or come a little closer to an explanation. If it's anything like my work on time travel or teleportation, I'll at least be on to something even if I can't quite tie everything together. These questions are more subjective in nature, but they're still based on things that we can all agree on. I can say with confidence right now that, to a degree, it just comes down to human nature. Sometimes people let their emotions get away from them, and sometimes two individuals just aren't going to be able to understand each other. But with that said, you can't fault anybody for trying to spread new ideas, even if they do look like a raving lunatic while they're at it. Obviously looking like a lunatic has never stopped me from doing anything. It's no secret that cryptocurrency attracts a lot of people as an investment with near limitless potential or as other people put it, a get-rich-quick scheme, depending on your definition of quick. I'll admit right now, when I first discovered cryptocurrency, the technology intrigued me, but what really spurred me into action was the temptation of a profitable investment. Having sent some money to Coinbase in exchange for them to increment a few numbers on my account, I realized I had no idea what I'd just spent my money on. A few weeks of research later, and I realized I'd just made the best stupid decision in my life, and, well, here we are. Now, obviously there's nothing wrong with wanting to make a little money. Any way you slice it, anyone who owns cryptocurrency stands to profit immensely if the project is successful. It's not the motivation for money that's the problem, but rather how that desire for returns can make people act. For instance, the cryptocurrency space is, at times, overrun with investment advice, day trader jargon, and outrage that someone else decided to buy their fiat back. It's not uncommon to see a mindset that we're all hodling to get rich together and anyone who opts to get off this ride early is a traitor. And of course, when you're trying to foster an interest in others, the knowledge that you have something to gain from all this will create reason for doubt. A large group of people, all expecting to get rich from their high-risk investment, running around trying to sell others on that same investment? Well, it doesn't look good. To all my fellow crypto evangelists out there, if someone doesn't want to hear your pitch for cryptocurrency, there's good reason for doubt. 
the best thing you can do is just leave them alone. One day they'll come around. They'll have to. Make no mistake, I've dabbled in mind control technology to address this issue. I mean, I'm trying to help people escape from debt culture and an economic system built to increase the power of a few at the expense of the population's financial stability. You'd think people could just hear me out. <sighs> Maybe if I increase beta wave output of the device, people will finally understand. Or should I overthrow Nepal? It's not all about money, though. Even the greediest eventually realize that crypto isn't going to make them millionaires overnight. An investor's passion will quickly temper itself into that of a patient spectator at best, or into a furious exodus at worst. Lasting zeal in this space is all born from one thing, an appreciation of the technology and of the structure behind it. The details of that technology is something that this channel is primarily occupied with. Suffice to say, it uses old concepts in a new way in conjunction with internet infrastructure that's never been more robust and continues to strengthen every day. The kind of thing only a genius could think up, but that everyone can understand. For those with a logical mindset, it's so obvious it's painful, and yet we never would have seen it in a thousand years. But now that it's been shown to us, imaginations have run wild with all the ways it can be used and the different applications that can take advantage of the scheme. Many people with a passion for cryptocurrency are enamored with the most nuanced and newest of projects. Creeping ever closer to the full potential of this technology and seeing all the possibilities is a dream come true. Others are happy to completely wrap their minds around the basics and to fully flesh out the utility of the earliest blockchains. After all, there's still a lot of room for improvement in the world's first cryptocurrency. It seems a little silly to move on to a more ambitious project when we haven't even gotten the simplest version to be fully functional yet. Whether you're exploring undiscovered frontiers on the blockchain or just working to improve what's already proven to be useful, it's clear that the technology is solid and has a strong use case. Something this flexible and powerful is sure to change the world, and we're the lucky ones that get to watch it happen. There's nothing strange about falling in love with new tech. Whether you're a caveman who's excited to see whether or not this fire will help you live to be 30, or you're a savvy technophile looking to get your hands on the latest iPhone, people have always flocked towards the latest and greatest in technological innovation. Once you see Bitcoin's potential, it's hard to justify not becoming a little excited to see what the future will hold. It's my personal belief that it's because most people have no idea how cryptocurrency works that they don't trust it. That's why I have my channel here. The more people grow familiar with the way cryptocurrency accomplishes what it does and the systems that it uses, the more obvious it'll be that it's no trick or scheme, just a well-designed system of algorithms and encryptions. Maybe if I explain to people how my death ray works, they'll... Never mind. All right, I think we're as prepared for that job as we'll ever be. Say, Dave, did your mom get any better? Not really. In some ways, she's as bad as ever. Well, I haven't heard your phone go off in a while. She's not bothering me about it anymore, but she's been traveling around the country as a cryptocurrency advocate. It's really embarrassing. Your mother's hideous. Is she single? I thought she was supposed to get better. Well, this is better. Or it might be. She's not being pushy, is she? Her catchphrase is, buy Bitcoin or else I'll finally do it. Oh, yeah. That's not an uncommon problem either. A lot of people go for the hard sell. She's ruining my life. She just needs some guidance, a nudge in the right direction. I've got some advice for her. It's easy to get carried away when you're trying to spread the word about crypto to people that just want to carry on with their lives. You found the technology that's going to revolutionize the world's economies, bank the unbanked, and take a little control away from the people with the most of it. But they don't care. Surely they just don't understand what you're trying to tell them, right? Some people just don't care about crypto. 
Maybe they've got other stuff going on, maybe they don't want to bother with it until they have to, or maybe they already don't like it and they just don't want to offend you. It's safe to say there are lots of reasons that someone might not want to hear about your hobby. And while this may be news to some, I realize that to most people this isn't a revelation. I mentioned this earlier, some people are in it for the money. Not in the sense of a Ponzi scheme, necessarily, although it does still hold true that the more people invest in cryptocurrency, the more your investment appreciates. Someone who's in it for the money will invariably be trying to get you to invest to enrich their own investment, although that doesn't mean that they don't want you to reap the benefits, too. Unfortunately, a lot of people that aren't just trying to fill out their own pockets are painted with the same brush anyway. Once the narrative of Ponzi schemes and getting rich quick gets spread around, it's really hard to ditch it. Even if you avoid investment talk entirely, people are likely to lump you in with the investors just the same. Most of the time, if you broach the subject to crypto and whoever you're talking to isn't interested, the best thing you can do is back off for the moment. Plant the seed and walk away. If there's an underlying interest, they may come back and ask you about it again later. And either way, you'll probably bring up the subject again sometime down the road, so you can see if they've warmed up to the topic then. In my opinion, the best way to bring people into the cryptocurrency space is to talk about the technology behind it. Explain how it works and the benefits of crypto first and foremost. If you start off talking about it like it's a penny stock, they'll treat you like every other idiot that invests in that stuff. Tell them it's uncensorable, immutable, and decentralized. Bring up the most contemporary use cases and explain why these qualities are virtues. Don't tell them it's the money of tomorrow. Explain to them why it should be their currency of choice today. Don't shy away from the hard truths. Tell them no one accepts crypto yet. Tell them the user interfaces need work. Tell them that being your own bank means you don't have the bank security. If they're really interested, these truths won't turn them away. The fact of the matter is, crypto is real. It's not a scheme of any kind, and it is the money of tomorrow. You don't need catchy slogans, viral marketing, or a sense of urgency to convince people to check it out. If you do a good job of informing people as to what it really is, they'll come. And that's what's important, no matter what your motivations are. So, think your mom can use any of these tips? Hmm. Oh. Mom doesn't talk about Bitcoin anymore. She still likes it, but now all she talks about is her new boyfriend. I need a sick day. Yeah, I'm right behind you. Well, if you liked what you saw here, leave a like. If you ever want to see that again, subscribe. And if you can put into words just how that made you feel, leave a comment below. Until next time, be the villain the world needs you to be.